Hey, what's going on guys? Troy here with WakeningNetwork.com. I'm here in the grocery store. We're going to take you on a little shopping trip. I'm going to show you the best high protein foods to help you guys pack on solid lead muscle mass. So let's get right to it. We have raw peanuts. And it's cheap too, only $3. This has 70 grams of protein in the entire package. So raw peanuts, really high protein food. Let's continue on down here. Uh, for those of you who like milk, I myself don't drink milk, but skim milk has 72 grams of protein in this. This is a really good high protein option. Let's continue on down. Almond milk and coconut milk, it's healthy for you. Not a lot of protein. It's good if you know you make smoothies and you want to throw in some protein powder and some fruit, so not a bad option. Let's continue on down. So egg whites. Egg whites are a really good choice. This entire thing has 100 grams of protein in it. Uh, zero carb, zero fat, so perfect for anyone trying to lose weight or build lean muscle mass. Let's continue on down here. We have cottage cheese. This is a slow digesting protein. Cottage cheese is really cheap too. This is great for nighttime protein because it's slow digesting. It has lots of that casein protein similar to the casein protein powder. So this has 70 grams of protein and only 10 grams of fat. So a really high quality protein choice is cottage cheese. Uh, let's continue on down here. We have Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is really high in protein. The 0% fat-free Greek yogurt. Let me see if they have it here. Uh, I'm not seeing it here. Well, Chobani. So this is one of the higher end brands of Greek yogurt. This has 88 grams of protein in it, only $5. So Greek yogurt, really good for a snack or right before you go to bed for a slow digesting protein source. Let's continue on down here. Lunchables, one of my childhood favorites, but unfortunately it is not high in protein. So Lunchables, you're gonna have to pass on those. Birthday cake jello. That looks really good, but unfortunately it's not high in protein. But on my next cheat meal, I'm gonna have to pick those up. And we have Lunchables uploaded. So, how many grams of protein? 14 grams of protein. So, for you toddlers watching who wanna get ripped, Lunchables uploaded, a slightly better option than the regular Lunchables. Let's see what else we have here. Well, these are a slightly better option. If you absolutely have to eat a hot dog, like your life depends on it, and you want to eat the most amount of protein, these have eight grams of protein in one frank. So, not bad. Uh, we have salami, really bad option. Tons of fat, um, all this kind of stuff. Packaged bologna, chopped ham. It's got way too much fat. You guys are gonna put on a lot more fat than muscle when you eat the really low quality forms of protein like this. Um, the fat-free packaged deli meat is not bad. It's got a lot of sodium, it's got some preservatives, but it's pretty lean, not many grams of fat, and a lot of protein. So this is not a bad option at all, especially for you guys in college and you guys on a budget. Um, these are a little better. Obviously, uh, Oscar Mayer makes a little higher quality brand, and. You know, stuff like this, no preservatives, 100% all natural. This stuff is really high in protein. The ham, the turkey, those are all really good options. Bacon, even the turkey bacon, really high in fat. Um, regular bacon, obviously, is really high in fat. Let's see how much fat is in the uncured turkey bacon. This is actually the best brand that I've seen of turkey bacon. This has two grams of fat. I like to say at least have a 4 to 1 ratio of fat to protein if you're going to eat anything like that. So that has about a 4 to 1 ratio, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's continue on down here. Packaged grilled chicken, packaged steak strips. They're not bad. They're going to have lots of sodium. You know, they're pretty lean. They have lots of protein. So if you're on a budget, you know, this stuff isn't bad. Anything like this with barbecue sauce, pulled pork. Um, anything like this, that's going to have tons of added sugar, tons of sodium, so that's not going to be your best option if you want to, you know, put on lean muscle mass without much added fat. Um, all this, like turkey sausage, all this kind of stuff, this is crap. That has way too much fat in it. You do not want to eat any of that. Um, breakfast sausages like this are really, really poor choice of protein. Probably like an, if I had to rate it, this would be like a D minus or an F. 
especially stuff like this, like the packaged pork sausage, this has so much fat in it. Stay away from anything like that. Uh, let's continue on down. Um, ham steak. We have here ham steak. This isn't bad. This actually has pretty close to a 4 to 1 ratio of protein to fat. So not your best option, but not your worst. Kill bosses. Uh, this is a no-no. That has 16 grams of fat per serving, so stay away from that. We have turkey ham. Apparently this is a cross between a, t a turkey and a ham. So we have the hybrid meat here, we'll call it. And let's check the ratio on this. This has a 2 to 1 ratio, so again, probably like a C if I had to write it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, now we're getting to the really good protein choices. The stuff is going to help you pack on lean muscle mass with a really minimal amount of fat. So, 99% fat-free chicken breast. This would be a fantastic option. You know, this is going to help you pack out rock-solid lean muscle mass. Obviously, everyone knows skinless chicken breasts are a staple in any bodybuilding diet. If you want to spend a little bit more, you can get the free-range chicken. Um, you know, this is great stuff. No antibiotics, grain-fed. Free range chicken, really high quality form of protein. If you guys are on a budget, the natural chicken drumsticks, if you can peel the fat away, it'd be a much better option. But this is, you know, a pretty decent form of protein. Then we have the organic chicken. Obviously, that would be a supreme choice for protein. Anything where you can actually see the fat in it, like any kind of pork or beef, like you can just see all the fat on there. That is a really poor option. You know, stay away from that. It's got lots of hormones, tons of saturated. Animal fat is one of the worst things you can put in your body. I don't care, you know, if you're a really skinny guy trying to put on weight, you want to put on the healthy weight. So stay away from anything where you can just see the fat layering the meat. Uh, sirloin steak is probably your best option. Let's find. Well, this is a bad. This is top round steak. Pretty cheap too. Uh, you can trim the fat from the edges, so that's not a bad choice. I mean, obviously, you know, you can see all the fat on there. Stay away from that. That is crap. Uh, I, this is actually not the most tender steak, but I round steak. Pretty lean. You know, a little bit of fat on the outside, but not too much. Uh, here we go. Here's top sirloin. This is my favorite choice of steak if you're trying to stay really lean and put on muscle mass. Top sirloin steak. And this stuff's cheaper. Grass-fed beef, a really, really high quality choice. Um, you're better off getting the grass-fed sirloin because sirloin steak is naturally leaner than ribeye and strip steaks. Uh, lean beef, any kind of lean ground beef is a really good choice, but make sure it's 90% lean or more. So this is 92% lean. This has 22 grams of protein per serving, 85 grams of protein in their total, so that's a really good choice. The highest quality form of protein is going to be the fat-free ground turkey. So this stuff has, this is the 93%. They must be sold out of the fat-free one, but yeah, I'm not seeing it. But the fat-free ground turkey, I know from experience, an entire package of the fat-free ground turkey has 125 grams of protein. It's only $5, so that's a really good deal for, even if you're on a budget. Uh, even the 93% ground turkey, that would be a really high quality protein choice. Let's continue on down here. So I'm in the fish aisle. Fish is a really good source of protein. It's like midnight here, and as you can see, most of the fish has been taken from the display case, but I'm going to tell you about the best source of protein. Tilapia is a really high quality form of protein. Salmon, um, if you guys are ballers, you can eat lobster. Lobster is really high in protein. If you guys want to ball out on some lobster meat. Uh, shrimp, really high quality form of protein. Halibut, mahi-mahi, sockeye salmon, swordfish, whatever kind of fish you want to consume, it's all really high in protein. It's high in omega-3s and healthy fats. So fish is a really great choice for muscle building. So that's it guys. This is a little grocery shopping trip showing you guys the best high protein foods. If you guys are looking for more great tips on how to bulk up and gain lean muscle mass, check out weightgainmethod.com. Thanks guys. Are you still too skinny? Go to weightgainmethod.com and get access to a complete step-by-step -step plan for gaining weight and building muscle fast.